In this video you'll learn how we have created the ivy for the 3D scene. In some cases the basic tools of Blender are not the most efficient way to create something. Here you can see that I create a simple bolt in about 5 minutes. But to make my life easier I simply can use the bolt factory add-on which allows me to create a bolt in just a second and also I'll be able to adjust the bolt using the settings in the operator panel. So I'm able not to create only one bolt but instead a lot of different bolts in seconds. That means if you want to create something that's maybe a little bit difficult and you don't really can do it with the basic tools, take a look if there is somewhere an add-on which makes your life easier. Nowadays you find tons of Blender add-ons in the internet. For example on the website blenderaddonlist.blogspot.de you find many of those add-ons and also nicely visualized how and for what you can use them. Besides the add-ons you can download there are also a bunch of add-ons that are already inside Blender. This you can enable in the user preferences under add-ons. And here you also find the Ivy Gen. This add-on I enable and this basically generates Ivy. So to use this just select an object and with left click place the 3D cursor on the object. Because from the position of the 3D cursor the Ivy is growing. And also it's important to select an object because the Ivy just can grow on the surface of the selected object. Then simply press Shift A, Curve Add Ivy to Mesh. In the operator panel you now find all the different settings for this add-on. That means here you can define how the Ivy should look like. Every time you have changed the settings you have to click on Update Ivy so you can see the result in the 3D view. Up here under Generation Settings for example you can change the random seed. That means with this value you can change the overall appearance of the Ivy randomly. Under the size settings you find options for the size and the length of the IV. Under weight settings you find options for the weight of the IV. Under branch settings you find some settings for the different branches of the IV. Under branch probability you can adjust how many of those branches actually should grow. And under IV branch size we can define the thickness of the branches. Under leaf settings you can adjust the leaves of the ivy. Using ivy leaf size you can adjust the size of the leaves. And changing the leaf probability value you can define how many leaves actually should grow. So if you have done all your settings you can simply click the 3D cursor on another position of the object and then simply click on add new ivy. And you can see another ivy grows on the object. Also you can add another object, place a 3D cursor on the surface, press shift a curve add ivy to mesh and you can see this new ivy has the same settings as the previous ones. By the way disabling the checkbox grow leaves you can disable the leaves in general. Yeah and using this add-on it was quite simple to create all the different ivies for our 3D scene. As you may have seen in our 3D scene we have added the ivy to the robot tank. But the problem is the ivy just can grow on one object. And certainly the robot is built up of many objects. And for achieving that the ivy grows on all objects at once, we simply duplicated the tank, joined everything with Ctrl J as a temporary object, and then we were able to add the ivy to the robot tank, and now you can see it grows over all the objects of the tank. For our final scene in the end, we certainly have deleted the temporary duplicate of the robot. As you may can remember in one of our previous videos, we have talked about that we don't use any leaves with alpha channel. And after you've created an ivy you can see all the leaves are square. That means you only can use images with alpha texture for these kind of leaves. And because of that I disable the leaves unchecking grow leaves. And now we simply use a particle system just like for the trees 
to create the leaves for the ivy. But before we can add a particle system, we have to convert this curve into a mesh. So simply press Alt-C and choose the second entry, mesh from curve, etc. And now it's a mesh object and we can add a new particle system. Now I copy the ivy leaf I've created before while creating the plants and paste it in my scene with the ivies. And then just like for the trees, I add the leaves to the ivy. That means I add a new particle system, choose the hair type, on the render object I choose the ivy leaf and then I simply adjust the size and the rotation of the leaves. Also I add a vertex group using the weight paint mode so that the leaves are just growing at some places on the ivy. And then I use this vertex group under vertex groups density. And this particle system you easily can use for other ivy objects. Simply add a new ivy object, convert it to a mesh using Alt C and then add a new particle system and under settings you simply can add the same particle system of the ivy leaves. Yeah, and using this add-on it was super easy to add all the different ivies to our scene. So don't make your life harder as it is, use add-ons where you can. Certainly not every add-on is perfect, but in many cases this saves a lot of time.